Hello 3 by Cat viewers, this is Charles. I would like to use uh, three shape trios and scan the full mouth. Hopefully with this video, uh, you can scan quicker, faster, and better. So uh, the way I grip my scanner, I put my thumb on top of the switch. It's easier to activate the scanner. Also, a lot of times when you're scanning, people try to wrap the scanner really tight because they don't want to drop it but just make yourself feel comfortable in, in order to scan better and quicker you have to just grab the scanner light and you should be able to rotate or maneuver your scanner left and right easier okay for instance uh, when you're scanning a cruise I want to rotate and scan the facial and I want to rotate again to scan the lingo. Uh, if you grab light, it'll be a lot easier to scan. Okay. And this is camera taking. In, in order to uh, take full image of area where you're scanning, you have to make sure uh, your scanner is uh, parallel with the surface that you're scanning. Okay. If you tilt it, or if you're out of focus, then there's going to be undercuts. Okay, so make sure you're putting, you're making parallel to the surface. Okay. And also another tip is when you're scanning uh, back in the molar area, uh, while you're rotating from occlusal to facial, and make sure your scanner is, scanner has 45 angle from the surface. That way you can scan the tissue as well as the teeth uh, better. Uh, let me start uh, scanning real person to demonstrate how it needs to be done. Um, I went a little slow with the scanner just to go through everything in detail. Uh, the scanner uh, runs a lot faster if I go faster. You can find me scanning other people faster in a different videos. This time uh, I'll start the scan from uh, upper first uh, because upper is easier to scan since there is no time. Patient open his mouth okay usually I tell a uh, patient to dry themselves by going okay open and always always make sure patient uh, to relax if they relax I can retract the uh, uh, lips more okay by starting from the occlusal side just follow the um, curve and make sure you drop your scanner if you pull out the scanner too much, then you will be capturing the lid. Okay, I'm just going to move my finger to the other side. Okay, and make sure here you want to scan a little bit of facial. Just giving computer a reference, put pictures uh, together when you're scanning the facial later on. Okay, and rotate to lingual side. Okay, make sure, uh, usually I look in the patient mouth and I try to listen to the sound. And as I get uh, better with the scanning procedure, uh, it's like driving. Uh, the road is your main thing to look at, but um, sometimes the screen on the computer can be your side mirror. Okay, and here... As I turn it to facial, I have patient to close their bite. Then I have much more space to put the scanner in. Okay, and make sure you're making a parallel to the surface that you're scanning. Okay, also the scanner tip isn't touching the uh, patient's tissue area. Otherwise, it's going to really hurt patient. Okay, so I stop here. I have patient to relax, okay, and swallow, okay, okay, open again please. I go back to the other side of the terminal molar, computer is good at ca auto capturing where I'm scanning again. I'm just going to push, okay, start again, and as soon as I rotate to facial, okay, close your bite please, thank you, and just make sure we're scanning everything. Okay. Uh, 
All right, I'm just gonna stop. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, click trim and do all patches. It'll delete the uh, island area. And again, can you dry your teeth? Okay, just relax. Okay, occlusion again. Slightly tilted to facial, slightly. If you slightly tilt it, it'll be able to capture uh, the facial as well as the link. Okay. And usually I slightly go back to the cuspid and rotate. Okay. Move my finger to the other side. And put the scanner on top of Okuja again. And make sure you slightly capture the facial. Okay. And as when you rotate to lingual, use your scanner to press down the tongue and scan the lingual side. And make sure you're holding the lips out of the way constantly. Okay. Okay, move your finger to other area. Okay, scan again. And if you're not hearing anything, slightly go back to where you're scanning. Okay, it'll capture again. And keep moving. And usually I move scanner a little slower. Okay, rotate to facial. Okay, I'm just gonna stop here. Okay, and I'm just gonna have patient relax. And I'm just gonna go to uh, the other side. Okay, open please. And as usual, you start from the occlusal. Okay, computer picks it up automatically. And rotate to facial and just relax. Bite down a little. Thank you. Whenever a patient bite down or relax, it's a lot easier to scan. Okay. So now I got the uh, lower as well. And I'm just going to go to uh, bite. Oh, you want to make sure turn your color into black and white and see if there's any potential lines. Uh, a lot of times when uh, assistants or doctors are scanning um, sometimes they just want to scan one side first if you scan just one side first the problem is it's not you're not getting the you're not giving computer reference point the reason why we're scanning the occlusal uh, or a little bit of occlusal or fascia is to give reference for a computer to know where to put images on the facial as well as the lower okay just open please Bite down, bite down, take a bite, okay. Okay. And just wait. Okay, so computer is going to ask you to uh, do the, uh, take a bite of the other side. Okay, open please. Okay, close the bite. Okay. Four to six, uh, scanning four to six uh, teeth is suitable for taking a bite of uh, each side. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching this video and hope you can do more full arch scans. It is really incredible how full arch scan of trios is that accurate. Nike clean aligner fits very nicely.
If you have more questions about the product, uh, please visit our website or call us. Thank you for watching again.